We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Newark, New Jersey. I'm still, I'm just right off the corner. I'm all urban. Like, yeah, literally, you just right there. step right there. It's like, it's crazy. Like, the way that it's, you know, the way is the border is, like. That's crazy. Literally, like, yeah. It actually well, worked out because the taxes, the property taxes is a little bit higher. So. Oh, that's kind of fire. I don't know topic you talk about, but uh, yeah. keep going. Oh, okay. Um, Newark, New Jersey, they, they, they started the curfew. Kids under 18 got to be in the house. Um, oh, within a hundred meters after 11 p.m. from 11 p.m. to 5:30 a.m., you have to be within a hundred meters of your home. That is part of the curfew. So, this ain't nothing new. Yeah. In other states, they had curfews. Um, but I want to know how do y'all feel about if y'all don't know about the Newark curfew. Or anything about Newark, just period. Do you think it's a good idea? You think it's a bad idea? I've been here too long. Needed? We say not to let you know. No, no, oh, shit. no. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. 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 No. You are a stranger, buddy. They're definitely robbing you. Newark. Where you at? Nork. I don't know what you're talking about, you? man. <laughs> oh, dang. That is a fact. Um, I think, you know what? <laughs> This goes against being in the states, but I think this is this helps the younger generation with the wildness. Is that the way the way she's moving right now? Because mm-hmm. um, if you think about, I, I always compare it to like other countries and stuff that have less of violence, right? They got so many stricter rules, and the way they move is completely different, right? So you know, yeah, like she, everything shuts down in after nine in other countries. So if you out after nine, you up to no good. You can know, so like. I mean, I'm, just I'm, like, I'm getting some pussy. I'm I'm do some good. No, you are not gonna be chilling outside. You in a cab from point A to point B. If I they see you walking, behind trees a lot, they behind the buildings. Okay, but again, that's nah. up to no good. Yeah. You know, technically, that's up to no good because in other countries, you can get locked up for years for having sex in public. So sure. like, whatever the case may be, like yeah, I, I got a ticket for that. Yeah, to lock me up. <laughs> I got a ticket for that. Yeah, you, yeah, so you got it. I okay, never got it. Yeah, just a ticket. It's a ticket. But yeah, like other countries, that's jail time for being exposed or whatever the case may be. But I don't think this is a bad thing. It's going to suck. Um, I'm saying this as a person that's not under 18. Um, I would have been mad as hell if I was under 18 and this happened. Um, but from the adult side looking in, the way shit is going, especially how North is, is, uh, is operating and shit like that. And this ain't a bad thing. <laughs> this is not bad. So, it's so many what, layers to this. Yeah. Who would so, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. Yeah, it's so many layers because I want to. It's it is a there's a few elements to this. Number one, when I first uh, cause I don't hey, I've been out here for what, fourteen years maybe something like that. Yeah. So when I first came out here, I remember a guy named Rick Mosey. He, he was reading an article, and they were trying to develop, uh, Nork like how like Times Square. They were going to attempt to yeah. make it like this is before gentrification. This is before. And everything that he told me is coming to fruition. So this place is not the same how it used to be. We got one. of We officially have one of the tallest buildings in New Jersey that they build in. It's like they got a certain name for it. Celebrities is buying like all types of like Probably. condos and property. And they, Queen Latifah just launched her building. Things are changing. Shaq got a couple buildings out here. It's gentrification is crazy. So I feel like that's one element of let's set a curfew because North, we know North is crazy. Like North is off the chain. You know what I mean? But here's the catch to it. The way that in the city how we do, we would take whole strolls, move around, mm-hmm. all that stuff. It's not like that in North. What they do out here is they've been doing that. So when they say Yo, you just can't leave your step. They huddle in corners. Like, they don't walk because it's too far of a distance. The bus is not running. It's not like the city. So they are literally in front of a house, and it's 20 of them. So now it's crazy when you say curfew where your house is, if they could just run inside the house and 
It's all fine. You know what I'm saying? Like if I say yeah. well, it'd be 10 of them downstairs. That's what they usually do. When I say a company where we used to, it'd be like five or six of them downstairs. They huddle. They huddle in packs. So they're not moving around. I don't know whether it'll work. I don't know. It maybe it will as long as they're not moving around, but I, I we need it. We need it. People out here need it. A lot of death, a lot of robbing, but then it's the older folks that's doing it. it ain't even them. So yeah. I, I don't know where, where we're going, but it's a great direction. Like Google was saying, it's a great direction. We need that here in this city. You know what I mean? And man, I'm on. guessing, I'm guessing if your op is a hundred meters out, right? You would think twice before going wanted. over there to do whatever you think you're gonna do because if you get caught being 100 meters away, you're done. Well, they're gonna need more police. We don't have a lot of police out here. Not, yeah. Yo, that's what I'm saying. The conception, itself, yeah, <laughs> the, the conception of no, when you hear it's like, yo, it's crazy, da da da. Hmm. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock, nobody's like walking, you know, it's no, not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not trafficy. <laughs> it's not trafficy. Yeah. Everything is a drive. Everything yeah, is a drive. So yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man. Maybe in front of the club that might work. You know, well, you what are you doing out here? Why are you in front of the club? I don't know, bro. This but uh, this, again, this is only for 18 and under. I'm about to say 18 so, and under. So, so everybody else go about their business. You get caught. So that means if you get pulled over in a car. Or you know you just you go into the store or whatever whatever they, it's just gonna it opens the gates for for more prote- protection but it also opens the gates for more negativity from the cops so now cops could harass right. people more too on the flip side yeah. so now I was like oh I thought somebody minor was in this car well if he is he's with an adult so why does it matter or oh, I thought yeah. a minor was driving this car or you know so you know how that can go that can easily be an extra reason you get pulled over or harassed for something. So well, we got to do a negative too. We got the nope. people here. We got the people here. You know what I mean? We got them the the the, the bag is here now. So they want to make sure hey, they were the school. They gotta make sure they I'm about to say, I think yeah. that's all it is. It's more it's more business being brought to North. Yeah. And they want to protect the businesses and to keep these young kids, you know, they can't do it to 21 and over. People work. So you gotta keep as many people as you can off the streets. Yeah, I think it's all a business. It's not they don't give a fuck about the people and the safety. They they, they want to protect the businesses and and bring more businesses, which is only yeah. going to do one thing. And I'm sorry to say, it, bring more white people to New York, they, and they're going to try to that's push what the they doing, bro. It, it don't that's even it is. It, they they pushing them back. So like the at you still, bro. It was so cheap. It was like thirty five cent on the toes. Toes it went up to like a dollar something now. You know I mean, the ridiculous. bus is ridiculous, man. It's really ridiculous. It's hard. It, it, it's real. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad, bro. And it's only going to get worse. And they're pushing everybody back to like the, instead of the front, the front look all nice when you first come in Ooh. North. When you come in North, it look, it look, it look good. It, 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 but as you go further back, you're like, okay, hold on. And then what they doing is they pitting everybody in the middle that, you know, the section eights, the da da da, because if you go a little further back, and you already know what that area is. You can't, you ain't gonna be doing that in that area because that's where, uh, you know, Orange and you know all the good areas. Uh, but what's the uh, where Hot Shot live at and all that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so what they doing once again is they're quarantining us, and that's what they doing. They've been red doing line, for so long. Red line. Red line. There we go. Red, red line. line. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. the red line. The red line. So I mean, we like yeah. cattle, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. It, well, it, I, it, you know what? I blame us. I don't mean to be long way. I'm sorry, Killer. I ain't mean to cut no, you off. no, no, no. We are, yo. We, I blame us, man. We have to get certain things in perspective. It, I'm gonna say it one day. I already told him. I am going to say it one day, and it's gonna hurt people' feelings. I don't care how big I am or whatever the cable, how big we get, y'all. I'm gonna let people know, like, yo, I know why black folks don't want to live around other black folks. I know mm-hmm. why other minorities don't want to live around other minorities. You be like, man, he got all that money. He moved with them other folks. Yeah, I know why, bro. Because we are in condition to do the, the the most disrespectful. We don't even think. You know what I mean? We not even. Yo, you pulling in your driveway, you got your music blasting. You don't have no yeah. respect for the elder. You don't have no respect for the person that got to go to work. The person that, you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. The, the, you're yelling, yo, Keisha. Yo, you know why, on, man? We got to care for each other. Because, because 
slavery got black people feeling like and thinking everybody owes us something we they black people think we've been through the most then yeah your ancestors probably been through it your ass ain't been through shit and you ain't helping the motherfucking cause but you feel like somebody owe you every fucking thing it, it's, it's, it's every day it's bad bro it's bad it's really bad when it comes to like human courtesy you know what i mean with us amongst us you know what i mean you can tell a difference when you live a certain area and we and we have to fix that us not nobody else we got to look at each other and hold each other accountable you know what i mean if i'm your neighbor killer i got to say man my neighbor let me keep it down you know what i mean yeah. i gotta i gotta be reasonable you know what i mean you can't be like man i'm dumb king da 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 i'll run this is about a Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You gotta be respectful. You know what I mean? And we we are far from that. Yeah, I mean, you we we taking speakers now. Listen, the the portable speaker might be the worst creation. The big portable speaker, I'm it's telling over. you, man. It's over. It might be you got people walking down different neighborhoods well, with that's the portable right there speaker home. loud, bro. That's just the boombox from back in the day. That's all. <laughs> Yo, bro, it, it's bad, bro. It's bad, though. It's louder. Yeah, it it's, is. Lu- it is. it's louder. It sounds like you in a club. You don't want to hear that. And it, it, we sound like old, grumpy <laughs> old bit, right? That's but it's getting technology is getting better, so things are becoming more accessible. You know what I mean? You only had one radio, Raheem. Now you got ten of them. You know what I mean? You got ten radio Raheems in less than an hour. Every couple of hours. Every Yo, couple of hours. So let me tell you how bad it is. Because y'all are all, all three of y'all are in better places, you know what I'm saying? And kudos to y'all because y'all did this shit. That's your fault, motherfucker. But anyway, no, nah, that ain't my fault, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to leave. You can definitely don't, leave. Don't, don't, I hate when people do that. Don't say I don't want to leave. My situation is my situation. Okay. I can't leave right now. But nigga, I did leave for one because I was in Lynnhurst, New Jersey, at one of the nicest places in Jersey. Yep. Hey, my spot was beautiful. I wish you were still able to go to every check game. I wish I was still there, but life is life, and you know everything yeah, happens yeah, for a reason. Yeah. But my future is not my past Absolutely. or my present. So Absolutely. when I and do... Killer, you got to let them know, 50 needs you in the city right now. You know, it's a lot going on. 50 <laughs> needs you, bro. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to give cut the cap the information I'm about to give them right now. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Team green light. Shit. But like the bad shit about this shit is if you go on the dirty iron horse, these motherfuckers come on to speak with the speaker early in the 6 a.m. Come on, man. Yankee Stadium. Come on, man. With the shit around their neck, the little small speaker. Yeah, yep, yep, I know. Yo, like, bro. No, nobody. So like probably about three, four weeks ago, I had to actually ask the dude because the shit was just. Fuck this, it was some drill shit. Real drill, like real, real drill. When I'm running down the block, I'ma hit him. Bang. Yo, <laughs> be was, like, bro, was, what the it was two little girls that was right next to me with their mother, but they was going, they was in their Catholic school shit. They're going to school, bro. Like respectfully, homie, you gotta turn that down, my nigga. I ain't give a fuck. We could have got it scrapped, but I don't care. But like it was certain shit, like if that was my kid, I would not want my kid to hear that at six in the morning. Absolutely, bro. It's because we become as savages among each other because we get technology. The simplest thing, look, Skin said it. He said, yo, there was a guy in the gym playing trap. The only thing we should be trapping is when you're doing a shoulder workout. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, this little device right here, you can hear outside your window because nobody wants to put the phone to their ear anymore. They want the block to hear it. So you like, yo, Ma, what you cooking tonight? She's like, I don't That's fucking know. Da, 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 da. I mean, you like, yo, what's going on? Why am I here, Mom Dukes? Like, yo, like, you know, we got to get. There's there's headphones. There's, we, why yeah. don't you? How you got an iPhone and don't have a headphone? I yeah. get that shit. And here's the thing. We enter in an era where people are working from home. Come on, man. Come on, man. Everybody working from home, bro. Why you out there doing a car wash in front of somebody's house and you got the music blasted and you spread down the car, and you take your orders, and she in the crib trying to make a living. That shit is like no sense, man. Oh man. Uh but that's that's New Jersey. I mean that's yeah, New Jersey. How you say no 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 no. No. I'm gonna let you ride out, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, Newark. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's Newark curfew. Yeah, yeah. Um 
And um, that's what it is right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Now uh, I think I'm, got, got me scared going to New Jersey and said Newark. Yeah. Hey, man, you know where Newark is at? Yeah, it's over here. Come come down this block. They're going to see me coming from a mile away. Hey, buddy, you're not from around here. I'm out of town. He's out of town. Yo, 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 yeah, like, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's 11-1. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby, we drive 100 meters away from this area. Some of these niggas ain't going to be here. I yeah, some of that's a here. fact. That's a fact. That's crazy, man. New York need Ooh. one of them, bro. I don't know why they don't have a curfew. That was so much. Enough police. Niggas disrespecting that curfew. New York niggas yeah, they definitely don't got enough police. You know, <laughs> people yeah, New York niggas is looking for re. New York motherfuckers is dumb but smart. They <laughs> want to get in problems with police because everybody want a lawsuit in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want the police the to stop is them. Crazy. Yo, you ever seen a New York nigga get stopped by the cops? The dumbest nigga turned into the most educated nigga in the world because yeah. they swear they know. All of their rights. You can't do this. You can't do this. <laughs> you can't tell me that on camera. That is the Fifth Amendment. Like, yeah. What? Nigga, Everybody what use the Fifth you. Amendment rule. Like, bro, I'm about to kick you in the face <laughs> with that Fifth Amendment, bro. <laughs> that is, <laughs> and lock you up, bro. You can't say that to me. That's freedom of speech. Then the top, the cop turn around and tell you, shut the fuck up. Nigga, can't right. say that. <laughs> nah, y'all, yo, they disrespect. I see the kids say SMD to the police, and I'm like, bro, I don't know how that police, the restraint that police man had on you, bro, is like they be able to just be like, uh, uh man, and but, you just continuously you know, saying SMD is crazy. But you know what I've seen? That's crazy. I've seen a lot of white people curse like bull out. Purse to pull the police in, and shit happened. They believe like, you, but then after they don't it touch me, they cursed them out holding their gun in their hand. Absolutely, right. I'm not going that far. That maybe that's down here they do that. I ain't going that far. Nah, I'm yeah, because down here y'all can have weapons, not up here. Yeah. But I, I know what killer's saying. Killer's right though. They Florida's like that. They be talking crazy to police. They talking I mean, all crazy. the nationalities, bro. 